Well, hello, 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 everybody. Uh, okay, I got a request for a wedding album. And these are the colors they sent me. Of course, they're all interpreted by my copier. So, um, what she said was, this was champagne. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is champagne. This is like an emerald green. This is a peach. And this is a pink. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And then there's also this darker green and this lighter green and gold accents. And I'm like, okay. I cannot find a and, and she doesn't like like vintage or retro so <laughs> I'm like I have not been able to find a paper pack that really works this really well so I have pulled together stuff from my stash from multiple uh, packs and hopefully we're gonna pull this off the first thing that I'm using oops is um, this die cuts with a few French whites um, I couldn't find I was really having a problem with a white color that I thought was as bright um, uh, or that would would work with with all of these colors and kind of mimicked this champagne -y color. So I like these. Um, and this is a primarily a wedding. I mean, shoot, you can use these pages for anything, but um, you know they've got uh, they've got the um, the cut aparts are definitely geared towards love and wedding. So. Um, let's see if I can, the smaller ones have like, uh, Mrs., Mr., True Love, uh, you know, Happily Ever After. So, um, yeah. So this was the main ingredient. Um, I've kind of picked up the peach theme and then... I guess I can show you. Oh, oh oops. Let's see these. I, I have a, a uh, an iridescent gold cardstock. I got just just to dress it up a little bit. This is a um, polka dotted green paper. Um, so I pulled those out of my stash to try and get those. But those are going to be in, in small increments. Now I picked this up from, I think, Hobby Lobby. And it's love, pretty, beautiful, um, loving this life. But it's, you know, it's white. And it's, it's pretty much a, a nice white. And then I also, I think I also got these from, no, this is Recollections. So this was Michael's. And there's gold in this kind of marble white and so I thought that was really pretty I got four of those then it just gets you know kind of crazy from there um, this I think is from the Dear Jane collection uh, Hobby Lobby uh, this is also I think from that collection this is Studio Calico, which is American Crafts. And this is the side. I guess I have these. I don't guess it really matters. Okay. Um, I got those for this side here. Kind of a pinky peachy. Um, I got these because of the roses, pinks. Um, it's got some of the different greens in it. Uh, it is a little more kind of a vintage feel, or at least, uh, I don't know. But they're just going to have to ignore those, and I'm not going to, I'm going to try and just, you know, get sections that I want. I might even cut it out. Now this was, um, 
Blue Fern Studios. This has got this dress form on it with what looks to be like it could be a wedding dress. But uh, I love I love their papers. Just love their papers. Now this is not this side is not, but this is good. Uh, this one is Echo Park and it is Victoria Gardens. This is that brighter pink color that's in here. So I, I uh, picked that one up. These um, are kind of pinks, pink colors. I um, believe all of these are from that Dear Jane stack. This is another Blue Fern Studios um, Serendipity collection, same collection. And, and, and this can be used as well, this side. So I'm, I'm good with either side of that. This is just a, a thin, this is a name card, a card stocky, um, but it's, it's a green, it's just a green that I can incorporate. Uh, this is Bow Bunny Madeline collection, and I guess, you know, I could possibly use a frame or something if I wanted, but mainly it's for the green. Uh, this is Glitz. And uh, definitely not that side, but this side. Graphic 45 La Romantique. And um, if nothing else, it's to cut the flowers out. And then I think this is um, also from the Dear Jane stack. And that is pretty much it um, that I've got other than, you know, just the the whole French whites stack. So I think I ought to be able to come up with a pretty nice, but let's go ahead and uh, I got that done. Let's get started here. Let's put this down for a second. Um, okay, so I am getting started here and I've gotten some things ready uh, and then you know, we're just going to go from there. You're going to need two 6 and 5 eighths by 8 and 3 quarters for your front and back covers. Again, 6 and 5 eighths by 8 and 3 quarters. And one 3 and 1 eighth by 8 and 3 quarters. Okay. And I run them through my Xyron machine. You can glue the back. You can put more tape on the back, you can use your ATG gun, um, whatever you, however you like to do it. I like solid, I like it to stick solidly to my paper. And then I've just done this around each one of these, so I'm just that much ahead doing the covers, because everybody's seen covers done, but you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing this from start to finish, so... Um, you might see something that you, that I do that you will go, oh, hey, I like that. Uh, you're going to need two 12 by 12 or two 8.5 by 11, I think will work. Um, 11 by 8.5 this way put together. I think that will work. But um, I've got two 12 by 12 here, and I've just done it quarter inch score tape right here and but you know match them up I've taken a uh, ruler and drew a line down three quarters of an inch side and bottom uh, so that I'm ready to put my um, my doodads on here so let me just pull this apart and I've already t tested and made sure that I was going to uh, just kind of match up the corner. And there we go. And then I take my quarter inch tape. And I put it right next the book. I try not to jam it up. Come on. Try not to jam it up uh, 
underneath it or anything. I try so I get a really solid um, quarter of an inch there. And now the Butt that right against my line and there we go. And once I've got them all down, I'll flip it over. But uh, I really liked where this was landing on the back half, but where I'm planning on about the noise where I'm planning on putting lace so you won't even see the seams you know sometimes you want to make sure you're really paying attention to where those seams are are going to go because um, sometimes if you really think it through you can place those seams in a lot better area just by knowing kind of what you're going to do on the front cover but uh, I know I'm going to be doing some lace and things like that, so. All right, and then we're going to line this up. Okay. Ooh, sorry about that. Let me flip this over. Uh, my favorite mom and pop type uh, store, uh, scrapbook store, is closing. And I don't know, I've probably gone there every, every other week, maybe since I found out she was closing, which was probably about a month ago. <laughs> and... Uh, I bought some some furniture stuff, two pieces, a cabinet and a eight and a half by eleven tower to put my papers in. And uh, so I got those and then she had oh when it all said and done, probably three and a half to four foot of eight and a half by eleven paper that nobody had purchased. So I bought it all. It was a offer I couldn't refuse. I don't know. I don't need. I don't need any more paper. <laughs> and I. She was doing great deals on trim. So I got a lot of trim. Oh my lord! Just way too much. Way too much stuff. But you know, paper is one thing as a paper crafter that we can always use. So now I am just putting the uh, three quarters of an inch ish. It doesn't have to be perfect but uh, this way I've got um, I've got uh, the room that I need. And a little more score tape. And we'll be done with this one. Probably quicker with a blade and cut this off, but I'm not sure where mine is right at the moment, so you're just going to have to watch me with my scissors. <laughs> yeah. Now this, this peach color I thought was good, um, you know, for, for the main the main covering of the book. Of course, things will be going on top of it and all that kind of stuff. But um, 
uh, I also, um, here, let me go ahead and put this down first. I also, uh, would have liked to have done white, but then I thought, you know what? A white book is going to be so hard to keep clean. Now, I'm not going all the way to the corners on these because, um, you know, I'm going to be mitering the corners anyway, so I'm not all that worried about it. do want to make sure that you burnish. Now I had already burnished all this other but burnishing uh, does two things that I know of. It makes a good ad adhesion between the paper and and the glue. The, the, oh, the the paper and the um, sticky part, but then it also supposedly makes it easier to get this off. I'm going to go ahead and pull these and pull this. Okay, and then we're going to move this. And I'm just kind of pulling this up so it's not in the way. So when I fold this up, didn't do was cut. So I'm going to cut this side and then I'll cut the other side once I get this side done. And I leave myself a nice eighth plus of, the, of an inch. Now we're going to use the chipboard and start that bend. We're going to use the bone folder and really crisp that up. Okay. Now, get my glue and I'm going to squeeze it right in. Sorry, I couldn't see around the edge there. Squeeze it right into that area. And then I'm just going to give myself a little bit of fill where it's going to go on the chipboard. And then I'm going to pull it around. Now I'm going to first pull it down in the center. And then I'm going to push it down inside this part. Get the center down and then push inside so that it's actually touching in this little gusset area, okay? 
And then once you have that kind of set down in there, then you're going to start pulling the rest of it down. Push here and push the rest down. All right. Then I kind of hold it up and I'm pushing flat on the flat part of the surface. Okay. And this is giving it a nice edge, getting that glue down in there. Okay. This um, is a linen, uh, I believe it's a die cuts with a view paper, but since I'm going to be putting other paper on top of it uh, in spots, I'm not all that worried about it. Um, okay. So now I'm going to... Yeah, there's going to be lace over this and everything else, so I am not worried about this uh, not being able to be held up and that kind of stuff because there's going to be so much uh, going on with it. Oh, here I go. So now I'm going to... I like to kind of come down at it at an angle, widen out, and, you know, so I'm kind of doing that. I don't cut it straight across. There we go. Okay, lay those down. Pick these up. Take these off. I had some really nice fingernail polish on and it kept, it uh, was past its prime, took it off. I was going to get it all done up nice and pretty for you. And I did it up and I ended up having to go down and help my, um, my mother with something and I messed up about five of the nails. So I just took it all off. And I said, well, I'll try it. Maybe tonight after everybody goes to bed, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Okay, now I am kind of having this from the back end and coming around the side and rubbing it because I want to make sure that I'm creasing it right against the um, chipboard, okay? So uh, this is a medium weight, a, a really nice medium weight chipboard. If you have a lighter chipboard, you, you might have to be a little more careful than I am. Um, but it, you know, you can totally get it done with the lighter weight chipboard or cereal box. You just maybe have to give it a little more support. Okay, get that, yep. Yeah. All right. So again, oh, did that fall back down or did I not pick it up? I must not have picked it up. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do this center portion again. There we go. And now, Push down in there. No, oh, shoot. Push down in there. Don't use the corner like I just did and tear it. There we go. Okay, once you get that set in there, then you can start pulling it down. And I didn't put any glue on this time and it really doesn't matter because I've got the 
two sets of of uh, score tape, so it's fine. And uh, that I will just make sure that I wrap around with something, so that'll be covered. Not a big deal. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing on the ends. I'm going to take my fold, my bone folder, and I'm going to come up from the bottom and fold that little edge that I didn't cut off over and down into the crease. Just come up from the bottom, fold it over and down. There we go. We're going to get some glue up in that area. on it. And bring it over. And again, and I don't think I did the other side. Sure, I got both sides. This just helps spread that glue and really helps that glue give you nice crisp edges on all the way around the book. Okay, that's off. This is off. Let me go ahead and squirt this first this time. I'm really pulling this around that corner. Okay. There we go. And so there is our book. Alright, so there's that part. Now, we are going to do tunnels. And I've got three tunnels. And let me see, the tunnels are five and a quarter by eight and a half. You have to do three of those. And then you do three five and a quarter by nine and a half. On the nine and a half inch side, so the long side, you're going to score a half inch on both sides. Fold them and stick them together. Okay, so then you'll end up something that looks like this. All right? Okay. Um, then you're going to have pages that are nine and a quarter by eight and three eighths. And this is what I'm calling my hinge page. So we're not actually doing kind of a whole hinge system. This is my hinge page. This is kind of a a cross between Kathy Orta's stuff and Tammy Merrill. I just kind of been playing around with with that. So again, this is nine and a quarter by eight and three eighths, and you need three of those. Now you're going to score, um, and it it doesn't matter uh, as long as you've got your 
your um, eight and three eighths side. Everything has to be standing up and down that way. Okay. So now what you're going to do, because this is top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you were scoring it normally, you would want uh, the scores to be on this side. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter, but if you want your pattern paper to show up, well, you, let me show you. This is one I've already done. So this is what we're making. This is called, what did I call it? My hinge page. So uh, Tammy Merrill would do just this page and a half inch and glue that down. Kathy Orta does succession of these things. Um, so I kind of combined one piece of paper and so one inch is holding down one of the hinges and one of the flaps instead of just a half of an inch holding down the flaps or making a long succession and it can be com confusing. So this is what I'm doing. So we are on the um, nine and a quarter side and we are going to do six half inch score marks. So a half inch, one inch, one and a half inches, two, two and a half, and three. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Again, nine and a quarter side, six half inch score marks. A half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three. All right. I can put this off to the side. Okay, so you're going to skip the first one, you're going to skip the second one, and you're going to come to the right hand side of this third uh, half inch. So one, a uh, half inch, one inch, one and a half inches. So the one and a half inch line, you're going to take that one and you're going to fold it. And you're going to make sure that your sides are are uh, matching. And you're going to give it a good burnish. Then you're going to come back to this very first one and you're going to fold it back towards you. And you're going to make sure they line up on the sides. And then you're going to take the two and stand it up just like that. So here's the hinge, the one that you just folded. Here's the two. Here's the other two. And then this is the last hinge. I'm going to go ahead and fold and make sure everything lines up along the sides. And burnish and that and then you want to kind of make sure everything goes both ways and again that it's all lining up okay and there is your hinge page uh, I'm just going to glue it you can do and I'm just doing these the two I'm gluing these. And I, oops, I want to glue all the way down to the fold mark. And I'm not really 
wanting to get any on the bottom. I mean, it's no big deal if you do, but okay. So now we're going to fold this. I don't want to squeeze all the glue out, so I'm not pushing real hard, but I pushed a little too hard there. I started to squeeze it all out. Just spreading it all around so it's nice. Take that little bit out of there. And there we go. So there is your hinge page number two. Now I'm going to have all of them facing this way so that each time my hinge page shows that this side is going to be a fancy side to it. But you could totally have some facing where it was, you know, whatever side you want. Uh, this just happens to be one-sided paper. Um, but again, you're going to skip the first and the second, and you're going to go to the right-hand side of the third, which is the one-and-a-half inch score mark. You're going to fold it. I wanted to do this twice with you. You're going to fold it. And all you do is stop, back it up, replay it as you're doing it, you know, so that you, you can see. And then come back and fold this back on itself, the very first hinge. So the, the first half inch mark. Okay, that got a little cockley eyed right there. Good. And then you're going to grab this, and you've got the next two uh, score marks. And then, you, so you've got one, two, and that's the one you're going to fold. Again, making sure that you are lined up perfectly. And then that next fold mark, you're going to fold. It's the last fold mark, so I should say last instead of next, but there you go. And there is your last hinge page, and this is what it's going to look like. And then we're going to glue in beside these two areas, this side and this side, and then you'll have these two as the part that it's actually going to go on the spine. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Well, if I could stay straight, that would be fantastic. Wipe that off the bottom there. Now, you, like I said, you can do totally do score tape. If you um, feel so inclined, I think we will be just fine this way. Tell I did a little too much right there. And I'm just pushing this down and laying it so that I can just do this. And again, I am not pushing hard. I'm just getting that glue spread around before it dries. There we go. Good. Okay. A little bit of seepage out of there, but not bad. Okay, so we've got our three hinge pages now. Okay, so now we have our tunnels. We've got our hinges. You're going to go to the hinge in the center of your of in the center of the hinge is a score mark. 
from that score mark up you're going to cut off just a little bit don't go past the score mark just at that score mark up cut off a little bit there can you see how much I'm cutting off just a little bit you're going to do that this one still needs to get done and it's easier to go from here from the score line up instead of trying to do it this way and ending at the score mark so just uh, you can do it either way you want just an FYI okay now another thing that you're going to need so we have our three hinge pages we have our three tunnels there's my third one um, now these are the things that are going to be the same throughout the book uh, and then there and then from there I'm going to add different things you're going to need a flap and the flap is uh, five and a quarter, five and a quarter by eight and three eighths. And you're going to score a half inch and snip the ends. All right. Um, I have one where I have folded into my pattern, and then, uh, excuse me, I have two that I have folded into my pattern. Well, I thought for sure I had one that I'd. Um, which one was it? This one I wanted to do it this way, right? No, no, this way, and then these I'm doing. Is that the case? No, I folded them all in. But anyway, so. I got confused. I confused myself. Not to worry. Uh, okay, so five and a quarter by eight and three eighths, and you score a half inch on one of the five on the five and a quarter side. You score a one one half inch. Um, then you're going to need uh, two different size for pockets. I'm doing a tri try fold pocket. Um, the bottom pocket is five and three quarters by three. Okay, so five and three quarters by three. And you need three of those because I'm going to do a pocket on each flap. And then you need uh, see this one is five and three quarters by three as well. And you score down just the bottom pocket you score half inch on three sides okay half inch score on three sides for the bottom pocket five and three quarters by three and you need three of those five and three quarters by three but you only score down and you need six of these but you only score down a half inch on the five and three quarter side and then you're going to let me just show you what I did You're going to score on the five and three quarter side, score a half inch, flip it around, score a half inch. Okay, then you're going to flip it this way, and you're going to mark that half inch just to the score line. Let me get you a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. I just did the score line just to the score line. I'm just doing a half inch score line to meet up with the existing score line that's already on the page see if I can so I got the page in there got my score line half inch just to the half inch all right oh poo <laughs> on the same side though 
I'll have to cut myself another one. Let me, let me do that again so I can show you. Half inch. Half inch. Okay, now we're going to half inch just to the half inch line and then I'm going to flip it this way and do, now you probably can't see the score mark on here but I can just to the half inch mark. So now I have let's see, a score mark here and a score mark here. So I am going to take this and I'm going to cut on the top of the score mark because I don't want any scoring on this side. All the scoring is in this little uh, little square. And then from here, if you can, just cut some of it off. All right. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go to the on the top of the score mark. And then we'll go that way. All right. So you don't want to you I mean you want to be right on that score mark, but the top of the score mark, okay? All right. So you'll do that 6 times. And I didn't get all these other ones done. I don't know why. Usually I just try and leave one or two to do for you so that then you can see what, uh, you know, I can move on. But this won't take long. See, this is paper out of that stack, that white, French white, um, that I knew I would not use in the book, but I'm using it as white paper because of I couldn't find a white that matched this white anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> I went to several actual scrapbook stores. Went, you know, the mom and pop nice scrapbook stores. I went to Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. And I thought, you know, I, I got this die cuts with the view paper. I want to say that I got it at uh, Michael's. And I thought, well, for sure they would have paper that matched this. I mean, they're, they're selling it. For sure they would have it. Nope. So I actually bought another one of these in case I run out. Okay, so there, let me see. Um, so anyway, it took me, I'm, I'm going back down to now how much paper I bought from when I went shopping. <laughs> There's three. Four. Where's the one that I did wrong here? Let me. I'm going to. It's not going to show because uh, that's on a flap. But you definitely want to do it on the you know the same side of the paper. <laughs> um. But when I went when I went and, and shopped and bought all that paper, oh good lord, when I got home I was like, what the hell did I do? Because that was a lot of paper. I mean it didn't seem so much when it was all over, you know, she had a couple racks of it. She had a, a wall with you know, in different cubby holes. There was paper and and uh and stuff so you know it just didn't seem like that much until you started loading it in the vehicle and and we've got a it's a small SUV SUV but it's an SUV and I was loaded I was loaded and I bought I bought a few other things as well um, the, 
certain amount of times that I went that I yeah, probably didn't need, but you know when you're getting it 50, 60, 70 percent off and then even cheaper than that, how can you say no? I mean how many and this wasn't like um, five year ago leftovers, this was um, 40, 49th Market, for, you know, um, Blue, Star, Blue Fern Studios, Graphic 45. I mean, you were getting all the goodies. All the goodies. Okay. We have, let's see, did I do... Now, and on these, on the bottom pockets where we have scored on the three sides, just like you do all the other times, you're just going to kind of take off to the corner. You're going to take yourself a little angle off there. Okay? And that's what we're doing for that. And then I'm going to, and I hope that I was on, uh, on camera the whole time there because I forgot and I had scanned you guys way in. Okay, let's pull you back out again. I think that's good. Okay, bottom pocket, bottom pocket. I'm I'm put that on all three of those so I just wouldn't get confused on myself. <laughs> okay, so now what we're first thing we're going to do, I, I guess first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take, I want to put the pockets on this side of this. This is the side that's going to go into my hinge. So I'm going to put my flap, oh and I didn't cut this one. You want to give this a little a little trim too. I think I, I think I, yeah, I did the other ones. I just didn't do this one. Okay, so we're just going to set this right in here. I'm going to center it. Okay. And this glue is very good glue, and this glue will work. Now keep it about an eighth, eighth of an inch away from the score mark because, you know, it will travel when you go to push everything down. And obviously you're not going to want to put the score mark right up to the there, nice and centered. Give it a little push down there. Okay. Centered and straight. All right. And we're going to do the next one. Because I want the, when you flip it open, I want you to see the pretty stuff there. Keep that up there. Again, keep it at, eighth, at least an eighth of an inch. Put most of your glue towards the center. And you don't really have to worry about the edge of the flap either. Bring it around. Push it down. Make sure it's nice and straight. And give it a little burnish. There's that. And one more here. Now this one that's what I was. Okay, this one I'm actually going to put on the back end because there is a top to this one. And so 
this will probably be my very top page of my book uh, because it won't have a flap on it and I can just decorate it up really really pretty and then the back end will have the flap and my pockets okay so that is how I'm going to do this one I knew there was something different about the this one specific but I just couldn't remember what it was and it's not like I did this days ago <laughs> I, I literally have pulled this together just this afternoon. I cleaned my desk all day yesterday, cleaned my, my area off, and uh, yeah, so yeah, poor little thing. My little brain, my little brain is just frizzling up. Okay, so this is the side, the side that does not have any of the flaps is the side that's going in. And uh, I'm not sure, I think I want to go ahead and stick these inside my book prior to doing this, but this is exactly how it's going to go. And these pages are going to be shorter than these because I want to have a nice tag coming out of there with I don't know yet what, but um, so that's how it's going to be. And you're going to be able to see this beautiful paper along the side here. Okay, so let's see. Um, let me, okay, let me put this aside real quick. Let's get this. And I have uh, I guess I'm gonna have to put two of these together or am I gonna use something else huh <sighs> let me figure out what I'm gonna do on the inside and get that done and then I'll come right back to you okay so I figured out what paper I'm gonna use and obviously I needed two pieces so I cut a piece that was going to overlap at least by a quarter of an inch um, this one overlaps about a half inch but instead of me trying to figure out where it needed to be glued together or whatever I just glued this down first on the back of the book and then I'm going to glue this down matching the edges but working into my creases and crevices here that I need to work in. Um, so, I know I took this one off, but uh, we're going to leave these on until such time as we have worked the paper in. And then we can take these two out Okay, yeah, we've got a good half inch to play with. So once we work the paper in a little bit, then we'll be working, um, you know, pretty good. So I'm going to put just about almost... almost, you know, through to here. So I can get that down nice and straight. That is pretty paper. There we go. And you want to make sure that you get that glue worked in all the nooks and crannies. I'm sorry, that makes such a noise. I'm going to have to cover that. 
um, make sure it's in all the nooks and crannies and that you flatten it out really well so you don't see like you know dried glue all right so now there's still a good two to three inches before we get to the um, this space between the two the cover and the spine so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find that space and I'm going to work right up against the front cover edge and I'm going to get that where it's nice and pushed in there so it's got a nice little edge to it and then I'm just going to kind of push it down a little bit more okay get my glue now you want to make sure that you're getting it on the edge of the paper so that that is all glued take this off right up to the glue push this back down and then it's going to be caught right on that score tape as well make sure oh a little too much right there that's for sure Okay, I'm going to just push that in there one more time, get glue, oh, not, not up that far yet, sorry, get glue up. There we go. Okay, push it down and let it fall against the score tape. Oh, come on and grab. Let it fall against that score tape. And now Move that glue around. Good. I'm sorry, leave that on there. And let's find Again, this piece now, the center piece, you're going to work the edge, and work that paper right up to the edge, and I'm holding, with this hand, I'm kind of holding the paper down so that it doesn't buckle, so you're getting a true, nice, crisp fold. Okay, so now we've got that, I'm going to pull this, I'm going to glue around the edge and I'm not putting glue over my score tape just up to it and I'm going to work that glue and make sure I'm catching on the score tape get 
good. A little bit of glue out. And again, I'm going to work that down in there again. And now we're going to pull this off. We're going to glue the rest of the paper. Again, not going on this um, the score tape. I'm going to push this down and pull and catch, have that score tape catch. Okay. And now I'm not going to push super hard. because um, I don't want glue to come spewing out, but I am going to start spreading that glue around. There we go. All right. And then that should just fold. We can leave it to dry before you start folding it. Okay, now you're going to figure out what page you're going to want first and I think I'm going to want the roses first okay so we're going to have the roses and then we're going to have this one Just getting a feel for how well I did here. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, so the roses are first. And I am going to, I'm sorry, I've got glue everywhere. Well, glue on these two fingers anyway. I'm going to run a piece of score tape on the fold. Let me cut this off. Okay. And then the rest of it I'm going to put glue on it. But this just gives that just that little bit more of a hold. Now the last time that I tried to lay these down I didn't do very well and one of my subbies, thank you very much, and I'm sorry I didn't look you up before I did this and I swore to myself I was going to do that so that I could, <laughs> said, use a tea ruler and that uh, I would be able to figure it out. So where, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my, my one inch because this from here to here is one inch. Okay, so I am going to find, I need this to kind of Um, I need to find one inch. Oh, I need the other one because this one doesn't start right at 
Okay, here we go. I want one inch from the edge of my So here we, I have one inch right here. Now, I'm going to add my glue. I'm not going over the score tape other than right at the ends. Um, with my glue, I kind of rather have my score tape pristine. Now I'm going to butt this paper up against my tea ruler because I have measured exactly from the edge of my spine in one inch and that's what this takes. So, and then I need to center it as well. All right, that looks about centered, and then I just need to butt it right up against, whoops, and then I moved it. Butt it right up against there. Don't let it move. Drop it down. Do I look? I look square. Am I right up against it? I am. Oh, that is so much nicer. Okay. Thank you. I will look your name up. I will definitely look your name up and thank you very much for giving me that tip. We can all learn from each other. Okay, it looks like I might be over the edge just the ever so slightly a little bit, but there's glue on there and all I'm going to do because visually nobody will notice that but me. <laughs> and I'm fine that I'm a little higher that I have a little more here than here because this is the bottom of the book and you you do tend to I do tend to like to have and that way if I if I want a little embellishment on the top of the page I have a little bit of room and I can keep it within the confines of the book um, I like that in my mini albums I like to keep everything within the confines of my book okay so now I'm going to push all of this over. And I'm going to get my T ruler out again. And my ruler out again. Line it up. Now this one. There we go. Leave that right there. Um, now it doesn't really matter to me which one's next. Got the roses. Maybe, maybe I'll do the pokey dots. We'll do the pokey dots. So now all I'm doing. Let's see, this is. Let me. I don't know if you can see. There's a little edge right here where it it's this side is longer than this side. I'm going to fix that by folding it over and running my scorer across it to move this over just a smidge. I'm just kind of pulling
Okay. So it's a little better. Not not perfect, but it's a little better. And I'm just going to put my score tape right over top of that. There we go. Right across the top. And I'm going to cut it off. Top off the score tape. Put my glue down on it. Glue down on it. Mm-hmm. Glue down on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it's getting a little late. I'm so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Get my glue down on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay. So here we go. Got my marked. Put that right there. I don't want it to go underneath. Pick this up. Doesn't that just look fantastic? And it's nice and straight. Good, good, good. You don't need the um, T roller quite as bad after you get the first one set up. And boy, it is just so much nicer to actually have that first one set up just right. And before you really put any stress or strain on this, you want it to get good and dry. Like I'm not quite ready to fold this over and, and uh, glue it down yet, you know. right up there to the edge of that and make sure you've got that score tape really hitting down and then get right up to the edge of this and make sure your glue is really getting hooked up get it hooked up girl all right now I'm going to start by folding the page over and then laying it down. Oh, we're so nice. So nice and neat and tidy. Nice and neat and tidy. And then this one is going to go right here. And I don't think I am going to worry one bit with the tea ruler anymore. We're going to put our tape down. because I swear I'm 22 minutes. Okay. I'd like to keep this part under two hours. <laughs> okay. And getting this last page on here. This is what's really kind of taken the, the longest period of time. But this third part is once you're really super careful with the first one, the And the second one kind of falls right in line and this third one hopefully will fall right in line and we'll be good to move on so now I am lining up the 
the page, making sure it's not getting hooked. And the first, the first uh, section is what you really want to make sure is nice and in there before you move on to anything else. And then you get the second half of that. Now if I would have not been just a little over, if I would have moved myself back just a little bit, it would have, it would have been perfect. But we all know that perfection is a myth. <laughs> Something else would have gone wrong. <laughs> am I right, ladies and gentlemen, or am I right? I don't, I don't say I'm right, you know, like a lot, but I know perfection is a myth. <laughs> Except for one person. One person had perfection. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so now we have our hinge pages in. And the more that you're going to work with these, just like any, any kind of hinge, be better off, oop, sorry, better off uh, soft-wise that they're going to be, the better off your pages are going to move. Okay. All right. Now we can put these boogers in here. Let me see which one I've got. So I think. Let me see which one I want where. I think I'll do this one in the middle. I think I'll do this one here. And then, wait a minute, this one, no, I'm going to put the fans with the polka dots. Put the fans with the polka dots and call me in the morning, the morning, morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, boy, I need to stop trying to, see, unfortunately, my parents go to bed late. And I try not to film. I know you guys have heard some of my videos have a lot of background noise. And I try not to film when there's a lot of background noise. Because I know that it's very distracting and very irritating. And I'm just putting glue. Uh about two-thirds of the way down of the first score mark up. And we're going to open this puppy up and we're just going to go to just before the first score mark. Just before the first score mark. Where I can't, all of a sudden I can't see the first score mark. There it is. Okay, and I'm going to lay it down on my pages. And I'm going to give myself a nice push on it. Flip it over. And all of a sudden it's on my, and a nice push on this side. And make sure that I'm nice and straight. Okay. It's not it's not perfect. There's that word again. I hate that word. I actually hate that word. But I'm going to go with it. I'm going with it. I'm just going with it. So now I'm going to get some good, about three stripes of glue on this side. And again, only about two thirds of the way down. I'm not getting it all the way down to the score mark. There's, with three stripes of glue, there's plenty of glue. 
And this one I have the flap in the back. And again, we're going to take this down just before the score mark. I'm going to make sure I am straight. Give it a good burnish. I think I pulled this down last time when I was burnishing and I think I pulled this this end down a little bit. So make sure that when you're when you're doing this that you're actually supporting the page and you're not having the page go where you don't want it to. There, this is much better. But I wasn't going to pull it all up um, because that would just damage everything. And when it's beautiful, they're not looking at do they line up perfectly and all of that stuff. They're just not. They're looking at the pages. And when there's pictures in them, they're looking at the pictures. So, you know, not to worry. Okay, last one. And then we'll have everything in our book. And I'll do one of the pockets. I'm not going to do all of the pockets because this is getting very long. But this will get the book started. Now I really need to lay it down this way so that I know I'm getting it straight. Okay. There we go. Okay, now let me quickly do um, I'm going to do this set of pockets. Now, I've got these all scored. However, um, and they, and they, you know, this one especially, uh, leave the edge on the bottom so that you can glue this down on the outside. And make sure that you got a, a good fit on the flap. Okay. And we're going to do the bottom pocket first. And I'm going to glue this. Now this one I cut, I mitered the corners. There is a little bit of overhang, which I'm happy about because I I didn't, you know, I, it dawned on me right as at, as I was doing it. Oh no, because I want to glue these down. Because I think the pocket works better when you when you do this, but I don't want to glue the pocket. This the flaps to the inside of the pocket. That does not make the pocket work better. Okay, so this one's just going to have to deal with it. This is, so don't do this. Do this. Okay, we're going to, you also, um, you don't want to uh, cut the edges of the pockets. You don't want to do that. And then it's alright. Get it down on the bottom. Get glue or on the top. Okay. Then we're going to line this back up. And it's alright if it goes right to the edge. And let me just make sure that I'm not going to be gluing my pocket down as I'm pushing. Okay, so there's the bottom pocket. Good. Now, these next pockets, 
if you only score one one side um, and then do the other side afterwards and let me show you why because you see this little hingy thingy or little shape I made here this is actually going to lay down inside this pocket so I'm going to get my first fold and I'm going to go ahead and give that a nice burnish I'm going to I'm sorry I'm getting little bits of glue off my fingers I'm going to line this right up the edge of the pocket and make sure that it's a solid straight line and then I don't know if you can see this white on white I'm not sure but let me okay you can see how I want that's nice and straight but I want you to look and let me put this underneath so you can see my score line is an eighth of an inch away from where it should be so I'm going to have my little scoreboard and that's why I said even though I told you how to do this in the beginning um, it's always a good idea to watch people unless they're you know unless they're uh, done a lot of, of uh, unless you're buying it then if you're buying it and you have to to uh, <laughs> figure it out later uh, I wouldn't buy any more from them but you're not buying mine I'm doing this for free and I'm just not always perfect there's that word again okay and I'm actually going to angle this because it's going to be a little crookedy and that's okay because sometimes that's just what happens it's just crookedy so I'm gonna score now I'm, uh, I've scored I'm gonna fold on that second score mark that I made and I'm going to give myself a burnish and I'm going to see, now I didn't burnish like death grip burnish because I want to see where I'm at here and I shouldn't have gone crookedy don't go crookedy <laughs> let's see find my my happy medium in here somewhere find my happy medium I hate when I have to manhandle a fold but sometimes it's just the way it is it's just the way it is <laughs> I'm going into song here people Hopefully this is going to work because I did kind of crank down on it. That's pretty good. I'm going to erase my pencil mark. That would probably help. And I'm going to pull this in just a smidge and give me a new fold. There we go. Okay. And then that is going to give us a wonderful pocket. Now all we're going to do is we're going to glue down the flaps and that is it that's all you're going to glue this does not get any glue on it it just goes right inside the other pocket and make sure you're getting a nice straight straight as you can 
There we go. You are going to be putting pattern paper on here. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I'm not gluing down my pocket. There we go. See, but now this goes. Oh, this goes all the way down to here. And this goes all the way down to here. Alright, then we're going to do it one more time. But again, I'm going to work with my first score mark. score mark okay I'm gonna pull it in just a little bit this there's easier ways of doing this but this keeps the bulk down keeps the bulk down and um, allows you to put in three different size. So I'm going to have my fold right there. Um, allows me to put in three different, um, two different sizes of there we go, of uh, three different size tags which I like. So let me see how this is going to work. And once you do it once or twice, you will get the feel for it. And that, except I didn't. to get in between the two of them. Let's see. And there we go. And then we're just going to fold. Now the top ones we can give this a little snip. Okay? And that will do our pockets. And then you're going to do this on the outside of the flap. Well, either side of the flap really that you want to do it on, but I've got it on the outside of the flap for me that's what I'm doing. So I am going to let me make sure I'm not gluing my oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. And you see, and then this is going to go all the way down. So a nice long tag. Because this is eight and a half. So get a nice long tag in there and let's see what's what was this five and three quarters so four and four and three quarters so you get a four by six photo in two of these and then a small one here so that is the three pockets guys so do that on the other two flaps and uh, then when I get back with you I will be decorating okay there's the book, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let's see, let me pull you back out. I hope it was all on there. If not, I'll come back and do another one. Okay? Hope you like this. We'll be back.